Hi guys, Sassy Crafty Taz here, back with another video. This video is just a quick project share. Um, this is a loaded envelope for the group Loaded Envelopes Galore. Um, we were doing a Valentine's Day uh, swap for the month of February. And this is my swap for my partner. Uh, my partner, she wanted to do bright colors but she wanted to keep it simple and traditional um so i wanted to incorporate um bright colors so without further ado here we go so here is a close-up of how my envelope looks that's the front. Here's the back. Sorry guys, I'm trying to hold it up here. All right, and I got all my stuff here. All my craft stuff still out. All right, and so she wanted to do bright colors. So I found this paper at Michael's. It's from the retro 80s um, paper stack. But when I saw this paper with the hearts and stuff on it, I figured this would be a perfect um, paper for this swap. So here I cut this big envelope. You guys can see it. I mean, I'm sorry, this big heart that's underneath all of this um, off my Cricut. And then I just put this um, trim here around the um, the heart and then these two felt hearts came from the Target dollar bin and then these were from Dollar Tree and then I have my enamel dots on in between there okay I really 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 don't like taking this apart but I did take pictures so I can know how to put it back together so we needed some altar paper clips. I think we only needed one. So, but instead I did a few. So I'll cut these off the Cricut too. They're like little heart candies and I kind of oversized them so that I could fit on the paper clip. Okay. And so it has a little smiley face. And then I have my little curly cues. And then this one says text to me okay and then uh, my envelopes with my little bit of goodies in there you only need a one envelope but I make two I always make two so I always have uh, extra paper left over okay and so we needed some images and so I found actually found the paper stack at my local store here called Ollie's and um, I just took some of their papers and backed it on some cardstock from the paper collection okay. so I thought those were cute and this one was in the shape of a heart with the big it actually had a lollipop like it was a lot like a stick I cut that part off okay and then of course my little curly cues pipe cleaner what we call it and then I added a little heart at the top and I have one on both sides here okay and then here's my first pocket okay and this was gifted to me in um, another swap. So I decided to use it because I thought it would be pretty. Okay. And these here are just um, roses that I printed off the Cricut. And I don't want to pull them out because I have them positioned so perfect. Um, roses that I made off the Cricut. And I'm going to take one out because it shouldn't be that hard to put back in. Um, and 
So it's, I um, stickled it with some um, stickles. And then I put these little hearts that came from the paper collection. And I um, backed it. Well, it's, it's like layered. So it's three layers here. So it's the first layer, then it's the green layer here, and then the purple on the background. Okay, and then I just put it on a popsicle stick. And I actually forgot that I had these here. So the popsicle stick actually stops here. But so that it can give me some, be able to stick down and don't fall down in there. I just added this. And I actually forgot that I had these. These are foam popsicle sticks that I bought like a really, really long time ago. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take these out so you can see the paper underneath. Okay, so. Alright, so those are my little roses. I wanted to, I wanted the envelope to look like, kind of like a Valentine's bouquet. Okay, and this paper here also came from that um, Sweet Treat paper pad that I bought. It's color box um, that my local store here, Ali, sell. And color box in Walmart is actually like five bucks. But their paper sacks... Um, the color box paper sacks there is actually uh, $1.99 so I took advantage and bought a few packs of papers and then here's my wands okay and I made them exactly the same the only difference is is the popsicle um, I'm sorry the straw this one has a turquoise polka dot straw and I put a skewer in there just to be able to stick it down in there okay and here, this one has a pink um, polka dot straw with the skewer down in there. Okay, so those are my wands. And then, um, had to have tags and such. So here's one of my tags. Got kind of, string got kind of bent up. So all I did was take some tool and this ribbon that I bought from walmart a while ago okay and this actually have an x's and o's this tag i printed off the cricut okay and this tag here this is another tag we only needed two tags but i did three because they wanted us to do like two jumbo so my two jumbo and then my smaller one so this i printed off the cricut also and i layered it with this is a Target um, um, felt heart. Actually, all three of them are. And this came in that little stack. And then I just took some tool and put it on the back, on um, behind it, just to give it a little bit of a different, you know, sentiment. And these just a bunch of goodies for her, for my partner. And then I did a jumbo shaker tag. This has a, a removable dot, so she could just pull that off. And then I put a heart here. This heart came from, um, I believe it came from Michael's stack that I bought, but I'm not too sure. And then this came from, um, oh gosh, um, a, a sticker pad that I bought from Dollar Tree okay and so I put the tiny little hearts here purple hearts in there and I tried to incorporate all kinds of different colors that was involved with the paper set okay and so I printed the jumble tag for my Cricut also and then I just did eyelash trim and some more of that ribbon there okay and this is a heart at the top. Alright. And some more goodies for her. For my partner. Alright. And here is two more clips. One says, um, I forgot what that. Love you more. <laughs> Three times more, something like that. And then it says, email me. Okay. And then the back, I just kept it pretty simple, 
because I love all these colors, so I figure I'll just let the colors show here. I'm not covering it up too much, but I did put a heart doily here that I got from um, Target and these pair of lips and the hearts here. So yeah, guys, that's a, my quick project share for my uh, Loaded Envelopes Galore group hosted by Anna. The envelopes was actually created by Anna. She's also known as Lace Boutique One. So check her channel out and check her Facebook group out. Um, it's called Loaded Envelopes Galore. You can find it on Facebook. And it's a great, great group to be in. Um, all the envelopes that everyone makes is absolutely gorgeous. And so that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.